Alrighty guys, welcome back. Earlier we were discussing a woman who got stuck in a dumpster truck after tossing her uh, trash in a dumpster. And now, as always, at the end of the show, we are going to talk about our oddities of the day. So this one kind of relates to our first segment when we were talking about viral moments in the Super Bowl. Um, I just saw this and I thought it was absolutely hilarious and so I had to talk about it on the show. I'm already, when Faith gets excited, but I, I, I gotta hear it. I'm looking forward to this. Um, so Leonardo DiCaprio's dating history was roasted on TV by SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay. Um, SpongeBob SquarePants went viral after the animated character took a shot at Oscar winner Leonardo DiCaprio's dating history during the first ever Nickelodeon Super Bowl 2024 live stream. In a clip uploaded to X, both SpongeBob and Patrick Starr can be heard comparing the actor 49 to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle character of the same name in his love for pizza. Um, Patrick Starr said, catch me if you can with these pizzas, Leonardo DeCap is low. <laughs> um, <Okay. laughs> things only get more unhinged when Spongebob, voiced by Tom Kenny, jumped uh, into the conversation with Leonardo DiCaprio, 25, referring to a scene in the cartoon where he and uh, Star go nuts over the digit. And then... Um, Spongebob chimed in, that's about his dating history. So I don't know if you know, but I, I'm this... like, I'm confused on this whole thing right now. So this is all you, <laughs> Faith. Let me hear this one. So there is uh, there's a chart somewhere that you can find on the internet of Leonardo DiCaprio's dating history and how he only dates women under the age of 25 and after they reach past 25 somehow the relationship just comes to an end so and then okay. uh there 25 is also a reference to a spongebob episode when patrick and spongebob were laughing at the number 25 for some reason it was just a dumb dumb thing in an episode is like what's tw funnier than 24 and they say 25 and then they laugh <laughs> oh they, I'm, I'm checking out the chart i i didn't know this <laughs> yes mm -hmm. dang he like he's racking him up oh, if you hit if you hit 25 it is canceled christmas yeah. on you mm -hmm. you know yes. 18 and he's like well how old is he now like 72 He's almost 50. he's almost fifty, so he's dating women half his age. And once I hit... listen, I'm not hating on him. On I'm, I'm I'm not. I'm just gonna say, if you can swim in those waters, do the backstroke. I, that's I'm just saying. <laughs> but I'm sorry, Faith. I understand. Like it's Leonardo DiCaprio, like you know Jack from Titanic, and you know all these other uh, movies he was in, Wolf of Wall Street, whatever, whatever. But Wolf, Leonardo- Wolf of something, I think. <laughs> Wolf of Wolf of 20 year olds. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio does not look how he looked when he was in Titanic. He, in my opinion, Leonardo DiCaprio is not aging as well as some of these other male actors. <laughs> So you say he's, he's, he's aging like like spoiled milk then yes now <laughs> fine wine <laughs> i am looking at, first off i didn't did you, you knew about you this know chart this? then yeah i knew no. yeah because there's there's this joke that um either for women either you get a birthday cake on your 25th birthday that says you're like past leonardo dicaprio you can't date leonardo dicaprio anymore or you get the the 25 reference from spongebob normally that's like the thing the trend now but yeah I, that it's, was starting, like, it's starting to look like when you're old enough to go to the bar and drink legally it's like it's over for you <laughs> Once you're old I'm enough to rent a car, Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> says, nah. <laughs> if you can sign for your own student loan, you got no shot at all <laughs> with DiCaprio. <laughs> 18 to 20, like, there's only three people that's 25. No one's over 25. They're yeah. always, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. I can't believe you didn't know that. No, I didn't know this at all. The things that people... 
the people like find yeah. out and study about you. Dang. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the, you know what though? I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this chart. This is all new to me, people. So I apologize <laughs> for all you all you in the know. Uh, know. Let's say I'm I'm gonna throw out those 25ers because there's very few 24 there's, and 25s. There they're is. Tw they're really 23, 23 to 18 to 23. And I'm not gonna hate on him because he's always in that legal zone. He's 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 not he's not uh <laughs> he's in the legal zone. <laughs> we ain't nobody calling him R. Kelly. That's all I'm saying. Nobody's calling him R. Kelly. 18 to 23 is his sweet spot. You got blonde, blonde hair, blue eyed, 18 to 23. Mm -hmm. He the and he is he is doing his thing during that time. Yeah. But if you're able to rent a car, sign for your own student loan, <laughs> go to a bar, start, you know what, you need to start making alternative plans because <laughs> <laughs> you hear, it's like, happy birthday, Becky. Becky just turned 22. She starts sweating. The Titanic is about to sink. <laughs> Becky. <laughs> it's like the moment can... they start getting like crow, crow feet. Crow's lines. feet? They're no, just... you don't get crow's feet at 23, 24. I got them yeah. a little bit. They're coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I did not know this. So, but yeah, so, so if once you, once you're able age to start drinking, you need to start casting your line out there as like, okay, I got Leonardo. Oh, let me see George Clooney. Hey, Mr. Clooney, how you doing today? <laughs> Because Leonardo's clipping you soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know I'm clipped. almost I'm almost close to that age. So you Girl, know. you it's you got no shot now. It is nope. you you I'm three you're years done. away. Well, <laughs> I'm three years away right now. I guess two because my birthday's this year. So he's he's know. already he's already casting at that age, you know. <laughs> I'm also not blonde either, so <laughs> Yeah, you, are you noticing? Did you notice the old? Yeah, old? a lot of them are blondes. Yes. And listen, I am just seeing this, so I don't have any facts. I'm just going <laughs> off of what I have seen on the chart. Didn't even know the chart existed. Yeah, it's pretty but bad. Man, yeah. they're they're they all kind of like I I look at the chart. Don't they all look like they're all like relatives and family members or something? They're all a <laughs> certain look. Do you, you do you have you seen the chart like they yeah, all ex kind of excluding look. excluding Naomi Campbell she's on the list but yes not on not on my chart Naomi, Naomi Campbell. don't make that where let me see let me see if there's another chart here I'm looking at all the charts and Ni Naomi did not make the list on my on the charts I'm seeing like ten different charts and <laughs> and she is <laughs> she must have been, she didn't make the the casting couch or something because she is not on the ones I have seen. Yeah, he dated but, Naomi Campbell in 1995. She was 25 and he was 21. Oh, you know, that's that's a dirty little secret there. That 25 age, that's like... <laughs> yeah, most of them... don't make the list. Most of them look the same. I will say his past two girlfriends have been brunettes. Okay, see, I, we're looking at different charts, and no, there's not one Naomi Campbell, not one brunette anywhere on the charts I'm seeing. They're all blonde hair, blue eyed. Oh, there's, you know what? I'm looking at some pictures though, and there's a couple of brunettes in here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have uh, another one. Oh, see, okay, now I have it. I see Naomi Campbell, 25. Mm -hmm. uh, she's the oldest. One, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, yeah, they're all. There's <laughs> very. You sure there's a brunette on this? Are you talking about uh in 2018? It's, yeah, Camilla. That was kind of like a. And Nina. What do you call Nina that? Was that's a like a. Too. That's like the dirty blonde and the Nina one. I see. I don't. That looks like a dirty blonde as well. Like that's still almost blonde. <laughs> you you know his. 
He might have had cataracts or something. It kind of. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a type. You got to be blonde, and you got to be under the age of twenty-five. <laughs> Neil, you see, and that shows you when you look at when you look at Leonardo's chart. Mm -hmm. That shows you how bad Naomi Campbell was because he bucked the trend with her. He was like, uh, you know, I'm throwing this all away for this one. <laughs> this one is a little special. Yeah. <laughs> because one of these things are not like the others. <laughs> yeah. One of these things just doesn't belong. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I, I didn't mean I just, to go down that path, but wow. I just want to say... Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, maybe start dating some people your own age and maybe you'll have longer lasting relationships. Okay. <laughs> there is a celebrity, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put him out there, but he 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 made a rule years ago that he wasn't getting married. Mm -hmm. He was never gonna get serious. Matter of fact, he don't even want a girlfriend. And it's like this celebrity thing is so nice that why am I ever going to settle down? And so he's now. Sorry guys, another technical. And he's, he doesn't have a girlfriend, never had a girlfriend, just kind of, he's just in the pool. Mm -hmm. And he's. Sorry guys, technical difficulties again. <laughs> I lost Tate. We're reconnecting at the moment. So sorry. My internet is just hates me today. Best decision. Oh, I think Hello. I lost Faith again. <laughs> All right, Faith, you're there. <laughs> yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did My I internet. lose this time? I, I could hear you the entire time. I just wasn't getting okay. your, your picture. But um, my internet. I'm just saying. Me today. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, it is technical difficulty. We have these issues, but there's some there's some celebrities that just are like, no, they're not settling down. But to, Leonardo's is very unique because that's that 18 to 23 range. That's his sweet spot. Mm -hmm. How do you feel as a woman when you see that? What do you think of that? It's icky. <laughs> it's icky he's almost 50 and he's dating women half his age it's just it's icky in my opinion wow Oof. well it's super icky because it, it you it's just all oh, you just when you see the chart it i had yeah. no i didn't i didn't know about this so this is an understood thing <laughs> yeah huh? wow okay <laughs> thank you for enlightening me you're because, welcome uh, now you I, can keep up with the trend and see who he's dating next, and you I'm can not like... really a. Oh, but I'm, I'm. You know what? If I see a Leonardo at something and it's like, are they together? I'm just gonna pull up. Nope, she's 27. <laughs> nope, they're not dating. They're they're just friends. That is totally platonic. <laughs> that is platonic. Nothing's going on. Nothing to see there. Oh, uh, yep. She's 19. <laughs> oh yeah, they're 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 a thing for the next two years. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> unfortunate. Um, with wow. that though, guys, we're gonna close out the show. Um, before, just want to remind everyone who is watching: tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Get your partner something for Valentine's Day, even if they say they don't want something. They want something. So get your partner something for Valentine's Day whoa, whoa, whoa. before it's too let's, late. Let's not wrap this up yet. Okay. <laughs> get your partner something. Faith, does that mean that you get your partner something yes. as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. Then we're on the same page. Yes. I don't like the situation where it's like it's the guy's job that he has to get her something. But you, the no. guy, he doesn't get squat. No, my boyfriend's Valentine's present is hiding back here. <laughs> That's <him>. nice. Listen, <laughs> I almost said his name. I'm not saying, not saying his name. <laughs> Much love, my man. Much love. You, you're doing it right. You're getting it, you know. She's getting you something. She, he's getting it nicely done. Yeah. Happy just Valentine's remember, Day to everyone. Just remember, guys, if they say they don't want something, they, they want something. So get them something. Oh, yes. We, we definitely. You can go and, to the dollar know, store. Go to the dollar store. They got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> okay. And my last shout out is people. I'm not going to say women. People. 
don't do this whole passive aggressive thing and then be all upset. <laughs> oh no, I'm happy. Just I'm living off of love. I'm happy. No, <laughs> if you want something, say it. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show presented by GSMC Sports Network. Your support means a lot to us, so re uh, please remember to subscribe to the show and leave a positive review. It really does make a difference. We also invite you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content updates. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>